Hi guys, hello from Houston. Welcome to my channel, this is Vicki. Um, I am gonna do a quick get ready with me this morning. It is Monday morning and it is really early. Um, I have a couple of things I need to do and um, then I'm heading out of town for just a day or two. Um, I am going to um, probably not talk to you too much about the products. I will list them below, everything that I used. I kind of have been trying to clean uh, clean up some some products and go through some drawers and this is just kind of some miscellaneous products that I think at one time I liked I just had them packed away and I'm going to try and use some things up So I'll just kind of show them to you on the camera and if I forget um, like I said, they'll be listed below um, this is um, um, a video that um, I, I was intended to do a week or so ago I have had a um, and I'm gonna start makeup while I talk um, I have had a, um, a really busy week or two. I think in my last uh, video, I told you that um, I was, and I already have all my skin prepped. I have my um, sunscreen on, all my primers, everything. I'm going to start with foundation. Um, that um, I told you in the last video, I had a puppy that had been sick. Her name was Lala, and um, so she passed away. And um, so um, I know she's in a better place and it's been really rough, uh, but um, so I did have that going on that, you know, she had been sick for at least, I don't know, three or four weeks. So I had that going on. I do have some good news to report. Uh, my mom, I think I said in the last video, also my mom that is in a rehab nursing home here in, um, here close to where I live, is um, had been diagnosed or she had a test come back positive as COVID. So she kind of got moved out of her regular room and it, you know, it scared us all. She has had no symptoms. That's been like a couple of weeks ago. She's had no symptoms. They have actually moved her back to her room. She is negative and she's feeling great and she's glad to be back to her original room with her roommate. And so we are so happy about that. So um, I guess that's kind of what's been going on the last couple of weeks. Um, the thing I want to talk to you about today really quick while I do this get ready with me is um, my MS journey. I got diagnosed with um, MS in 2005, the beginning of 2005, and I got diagnosed with the relapsing, remitting type of MS, not the progressive type of MS. Um, um, and I wanted to tell you exactly how, what they say about MS. I mean, exactly what is MS. I wanted to tell you exactly what it says on the website. So it says, what is MS? It's a disabling disease of the brain and spinal cord, central nervous system. In MS, the immune system attacks the protective lining that covers nerve fibers. It causes communication problems between your brain and the rest of your body. Uh, a lot of times the the reason that MS comes out, you may have had it all your life. I think probably I did from an early age, but um, a lot of times the reason that you MS comes out or you have any kind of acute attack is stress. Um, I, at the end of 2004, the beginning of 2005, I moved to Houston, uh, which I thought back then, I, you know, I can remember back then thinking was very stressful. Um, everybody I work with would tell you that, so I cried and, you know, all kinds of stuff. But I am now, looking back, I'm so glad I came to Houston. I love it, and I probably would never go back to where I came from. It's a much smaller town. I love Houston. But it was very stressful. I was single, and I had a son that was in high school. I think he was a senior, and I had a daughter that was uh, married and pregnant with her first baby. So it was a really stressful time for me. I moved here, had to find a house, kind of get used to working downtown Houston, you know, buses, vans, I mean, all of it. It was just kind of crazy for a while. Um, I did get used to it. Like I said, I loved it. But I kind of got to noticing during all that stress that, um, you know, that something kind of was going on. I can remember thinking my feet were numb a couple of times and... I remember um, a couple of times in a meeting, I would be sitting there and my fingers would go numb. So I kind of wondered what was going on. Um, and, um, oh, this is Elf. I love this little palette. Um, 
In 2005, I was placed on a project that was a lot of work, but it was very, uh, very beneficial for me. Um, but, and it was very interesting, but it was a lot of work and it was very stressful. And um, I think that project along with the move, plus along with just some, you know, stuff that was going on, I had left my parents behind and I still had a son, you know, back in the town where I, I mean, I just had a lot going on. So I think all of that together probably is what happened. But I got, um, at the end of the project, I can remember I went to Con Conroe, which is where my parents were, my dad and my stepmom. And um, I got really sick that weekend that I felt really bad. And over that weekend, I began to lose the um, eyesight in my left eye. Um, it started with like a little dot, then the dots got bigger and bigger and all came together. And eventually, by the time the weekend was over, I had lost all sight in my left eye. I immediately came back to Houston, went, got into my eye doctor the next morning. By the time I did that, I actually had, was beginning to lose sight in my right eye also. So they got me right in and um, she told me, this is definitely something that you don't want to mess around with. This is something serious. She set me up with a specialist that day. And um, so I saw a specialist downtown and um, he set me up for all kinds of tests, which took a while. I'm just kind of setting everything um, with my, um, this is um, Estee Lauder Double Wear um, Powder Foundation. I love to use this just as a setting powder. Um, anyway, so I had spinal taps, I had MRIs, I had blood work. Uh, I mean, it was months and months of tests. And when I finally got the results back, I went to my um, uh, neurologist, same one I still have today, I, she's great. Um, they did tell me that I had MS. I had my parents with me and um, I'm so glad they were with me. But I really, if I think about it now, I wasn't surprised really, I was scared and um, you know, sad, but I wasn't really surprised. Um, MS was kind of in our family. I have an aunt that has MS, had MS, she passed away, and then I have a cousin that has MS. But, um, and I have some notes that I'm looking over here. Um, some of my early symptoms that I can remember even like maybe back in high school or when I, you know, in my 20s, my hands went numb, my feet would go numb, I would feel like my feet were cold. Um, I, Felt like my feet went to um, sleep um, a lot. Uh, so my neurologist, when I found out I had it, she started me on Copaxin, which back then uh, was injections every day. And um, I hate it, I mean, you know, I hated it, but I got used to it. Copaxin back then was very expensive, really expensive. And I think a lot of people back then did not take it because they probably couldn't afford it. I just saved and I somehow figured out how to do it, but it was like $1,800, $1,900, I think, every three months. Now, as, as it has progressed, now Copaxin has a, um, a program that you get on. I think I pay $35, $40 a month. And now the injections have been changed a little bit, so you only have to take them three times a week. Um, even after taking the injections this long, this many years, what, 14, 15, 16 years, uh, they still hurt. Um, it still makes a red place on you that kind of burns. Um, it still makes kind of an indention into your skin that kind of stays there forever. And, um, but since I started Copaxin, I have never had another acute um, attack like the one that I had back in 2004, so that really says something about Copaxin. I did go off of it one time, and I got in a lot of trouble from my doctor and from my parents. You know, they both said, what are you doing? I mostly just got sick of them, and I just stopped taking them. I didn't tell anybody. Then I got to noticing that um, I was feeling numb in places again. I can remember one day calling my friend, and I had gotten up, and I said, you know, it's just the weirdest thing. I can walk but I'm kind of not feeling anything from the waist down. So I called Dr. Kim and um, I got back into her and she said, you know, this is what it is and you have to stay on your injections 
and probably you have to take them for the rest of your life. The main issues that I have due to MS now are restless leg and um, bladder issues. So let's talk about the bladder issues first, which, you know, nobody wants to talk about bladder issues. I know the guys are probably going, oh my God, and if there are any guys listening to this. But, um, you know, any woman that's in her 50s or 60s or 70s or whatever that's had babies knows about bladder issues. I mean, and if you don't, I can't imagine. I mean, most of us do. You know, you laugh, you cough, you pee. I mean, we just, <laughs> we all know that. So, but I have much worse than that. I have lost a lot of muscle um, there, but... Um, they um, do something to me twice a year called, um, they Botox my bladder. So um, if you want more information about that and um, the specialist that does it here in Houston, I can give you that if you put me a comment, but they do that and it is really, really helpful. Um, I think uh, the doctor that I used to do this is one of the first in Houston that did it. And um, I think I was one of her first patients and one of her first patients that got insurance to pay for it. It's very expensive, but it really works. The other issue that I have due to MS is restless leg. Restless leg, not normal kind of restless leg, what people have that you hear about, you know, they have restless leg every now and then, and they get up during the middle of the night and take Tylenol and it's gone, no. I have restless leg from hell. It is, it, it's it's unbelievable. I take Mirapex. I take it every day. If I don't have that pill at the exact same time every day, I'm going to have restless leg. And it's let my legs hurt so bad. I can't drive. I can't walk. I can't sit still. It, it is, I can't sleep. It is just the craziest thing. But if you really think about it, what could have happened with me having MS? I, I'm really, really lucky. Um, I worked for a company that um, I had great insurance and I could afford Copaxin. To manage my MS, um, mostly I try to stay active. And uh, most people know um, I don't sit around a lot. I'm not a person that enjoys sitting around. And um, I get up, I walk, I try to walk every day. I try to eat right, you know how that is. Some days are good and some days are not, but um, I've lost weight and you know, I need to lose more, but um, mostly you just have to take care of yourself and you need to get enough rest. And all of that kind of factors into MS. Um, I think if you have MS, you have to give your body and your mind kind of time to, um, time to heal and to take care of itself when you get sick. I think it's, sometimes it's a little bit different with someone that has MS. I think it takes us a little bit longer. Um, I don't want anybody to feel sorry for me. I, I have done great, really I have. I've done wonderful and I'm so thankful uh, for my great doctors and um, I get up and run around. I have four granddaughters that I'm crazy about that I get out and just got out and jumped on the trampoline last weekend with three of them. And so I am very lucky. So that's kind of it. I am going to finish up getting ready. I still like my mascara and my eyeliner. And then um, if you have any questions about MS or anything, uh, please comment below. So if you've had a journey or if you have any questions, comment below. If you're a subscriber to my channel, thank you so much. I appreciate it, and thank you for all the support. If you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button below, and um, it will come up with a little subscribe button and a little bell. Click the bell, and you'll get notified of all my, um, all my videos. Uh, again, thank you very much. Um, I'll say bye from Houston. It's hot as Hades. I was going to say hell, but I'll say hot as Hades. In Houston, oh my God, it is so hot. It was so hot yesterday. But um, stay cool, stay safe, stay inside. I guess we still have virus issues. Now we've got um, hurricane issues coming into Houston. So stay safe. Hugs from me to you. And um, bye from Houston. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.